Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. Question number six. Relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has position vector 2i minus 3j plus 5k. The point B has position vector 8i plus 3j minus 7k. The line L passes through A and B. Part A, I, find AB vector. Double I, find a vector equation for the line L. This question got three marks. So we have the position vector of A and B. Whenever the question says position vector, take it as OA and OB. So you need to know the formula to find AB vector. It's OB vector minus OA vector. So you subtract OA minus uh, OA from OB. So 8 minus 2 is uh, or maybe write OB here. You can write in this form also, call a matrix also. 8, 3, minus 7, minus 2, minus 3, 5. So we'll get 8 minus 2 is 6i, 3 plus 3 is 6j, minus 7, minus 12, minus 5 is minus 12k. That's a b vector. Now in double I, we need to find the vector equation of a line that passes through these two points. So the vector equation of a line passing through two points is R is A plus B uh, lambda times B minus A. B minus A is this actually. The first vector A, you can put B also, you can take A, either one of these vectors. So the vector equation is, I'm going to take the first one, 2 minus 3, 5, plus lambda times b minus a, which is 6, 6, negative 12. That's the vector equation. If you want to write it in the ijk form, you can write it as 2i minus 3j plus 5k plus lambda times 6i plus 6j minus 12k. Both are correct. But do not write both. Write either one of this. The point C has position vector 3i plus 5j plus 2k. The point P lies on L. Given that CP vector is perpendicular to L, part B, find the position vector of the point P. This question got 5 marks. Now here in part B, we have another point given. Position vector of a point C is given. And P is a point that lies on this line. So you can write the position vector of P as, using this, you can write it as 2 plus 6 lambda, negative 3 plus 6 lambda, 5 minus 12 lambda. That's the position vector of a point that lies on this straight line. Now you have OP and OC. You need to find CP vector first. Because it's given CP is perpendicular to the line. How do you find CP? You can write it as OP vector minus OC vector. So this minus this. So basically 2 plus 6 lambda, negative 3 plus 6 lambda, 5 minus 12 lambda, minus OC vector is 3, 5, 2. So subtract this. You get 6 lambda, 2 plus 6 lambda minus 3, which is 6 lambda minus 1. This is going to be 6 lambda minus 8. This is going to be negative 12 lambda. 5 minus 2 is 3. That's the vector, CP vector. Now listen to me carefully. We got the CP vector. The question says the CP vector is perpendicular to this straight line. So basically it's something like this. Let's say this is a straight line. You have a point P here. Another point C here, this CP is perpendicular to the straight line. So whenever they are talking about perpendicular, you take the direction vector of the straight line. You don't take the whole straight line. You take only this direction vector and take this vector. If two vectors are perpendicular, you must have learned this. A dot B is zero. The dot product of these two would be zero. So in this case, this vector dot this vector is equal to 0 and find lambda. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take CP vector 6 lambda minus 1, 6 lambda minus 8, minus 12 lambda plus 3 dot. Don't take this one, take the direction vector of the straight line. 
6692012 is equal to 0. That's a condition for two perpendicular vectors. A dot B is equal to 0. Now multiply 36 lambda minus 6. 6 times this, 6 times this. 36 lambda minus 5 eighths of 40, 48. Negative 12 times this, positive 1 double 4 lambda minus 36 is equal to 0. Make lambda as a subject. Once you got the value of lambda here, sub in the lambda in here to find the position vector of the point. So this is basically 170, 80, 216 lambda. And then we have negative 54, negative 80, 90 is equal to 0. Lambda is 90 over 216. So we get lambda is equal to 5 over 12. Once you got the value of lambda, sub in here to find the point. But again, read the question carefully whether they want the position vector or the coordinates of the point. Anyway, it's the same thing. You just need to sub in, write it in the required form. If they want the point coordinates, write it in the point form. Replace lambda by 5 over 12 here. So OP vector is going to be 2 plus 6 times 5 over 12 minus 3 plus 6 times 5 over 12. 5 minus 12 times 5 over 12. So this is going to be 5 over 2. 2 plus 5 over 2. 2 plus 5 over 2. This is negative 3 plus 5 over 2. And then this is going to be 5 minus 5, 0. So basically the OP vector is going to be 4, 9 over 2. You can run write 9 over 2i. This is going to be negative 6. So negative 1 over 2j plus 0k. Do not write the k. So that's the position vector of the point P. If they want the coordinates, right, you write it as P of 9 over 2 comma negative 1 over 2 comma 0. If you don't write it in this form, if the question asks you to find the coordinates, coordinates of the point, you will lose more. So always read the question carefully.